hello guys welcome to coding cafe my name is Mohammed Ali and in this video we will set up the flutter SDK in our Windows operating system we will install we will download and install the flutter SDK step by step so please follow me step by step so let's start so first of all open your favorite browser just go to google.com and simply search for flutter okay simply search for flutter you will see this which is the flutter.dev okay just click on it you can also come here to this page directly by simply typing this URL flutter.dev here you have to simply click on this get started button and then here you will see this windows button so click on this windows and now here you will see this uh, download button which is flutter windows okay this one dot zip file so just click on it and now here you can see the download has been started and now we have to wait for it it will took some 5 to 10 minutes depending upon on your internet speed so let's wait for it So as you can see the download has been completed successfully so if we go to the downloads folder and in my downloads folder this is the file that we just downloaded okay this is our flutter sdk zip file so you have to simply cut this okay and then go to the c drive inside the c drive we have to simply paste it click on continue so here you can see we have moved it to the c drive now you can simply right click on flutter windows okay on this file and click on extract here click yes so it is now extracting as you can see this is this folder which name is flutter this is basically our sdk so let's wait for it So the flutter sdk has been added successfully in our c drive which is this one okay this folder flutter if you go inside the flutter then inside the bin okay now here just click here and copy this path after this you can simply open up the environment variables okay just write here e and v i and you will see this edit the system environment variables just click on it and then click on environment variables and double click on this path and click new and just control V okay paste this path here which is C flutter bin okay I hope you can see it which we just copied then click OK OK and click OK now the next thing is to download and install the git okay which is necessary so let's download it you can simply google for git download and you will see this which is downloads git just click on it and here you will see this download for windows just click on it and the download will automatically start okay I mean you have to simply click on save button so as you can see it is now downloading it will took a minute or two depending upon on your internet speed so let's wait for it So the git has been downloaded successfully now let's go to the downloads folder okay double click on this file which we just downloaded the git.x file is and now let's install it so you have to simply click on next 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 button okay click again next 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 and then click on install so it has been down, uh, installed successfully okay so let's close this and now the next thing is you can simply uh, search for okay google for android studio 
and you will see this one which is download Android Studio and SDK tools so click on it and now you can simply click on download Android Studio you have to read this documentation okay and then click on this I have read and agree with above terms and condition check this and click on download Android Studio and just click on save so you can see the download has been started now let's wait for it it will take some time as usual depending upon on your internet speed so android studio also i mean it has been downloaded successfully now let's go to the downloads folder double click on this android studio file and let's install it you have to simply click on next next click next and then click install so let's wait for it now you can simply click next and then click on finish make sure to choose this one which is do not import settings and click ok click on click on don't send and then click next choose this custom and then click next click next now what is your favorite uh, theme you can choose okay from here i use uh, black i mean this one is like okay which is just color a black theme so i choose this and then click next click next click next and then click finish so now it is going to download and install all the required components related to android studio so let's wait for it it will took some time some ten, 10 to 15 minutes so as you can see it, the android studio has been installed successfully now you can simply click on this finish button now the next step is basically to click on this more actions button okay and then click on sdk manager and make sure that in the appearances here we have the system settings and in here we have this android sdk i hope you can see it okay make sure to click on this android sdk then click on sdk tools and then here you will see this one which is android sdk command line tools latest okay this one android sdk command line tools just select this and click apply and click ok now it is going to install it okay click accept and then click next and is now going to install this okay so we have to wait for two or three minutes so it has been installed successfully now you can simply click on finish and then click on apply and then click ok now you can close the android studio for now okay and now go back to your browser and all we need is just to install the last thing which is basically google chrome browser if you have already installed it then you can just simply watch the video okay just download google chrome browser download chrome accept and install So it has been installed. Let's go to the downloads folder. Double click on Chrome setup in order to install the Google Chrome.
so the Google Chrome has been installed successfully as you can see here okay so yeah now open up the command prompt and all you need is just to run this command okay which is flutter config dash dash android dash studio dash dir equals to inside the double quotes c colon slash program file slash android slash android studio i hope you can see it by the way i will provide this command in i mean down in the asset as well as in the description so you can just copy this command and just paste it here and press enter okay that's it so simple and so easy now you have to simply restart your computer so let me just restart my computer so my computer has been restarted successfully now let's open up the command prompt and let's run the command again which is flutter doctor press enter so yeah here you can see the issues has been fixed successfully now the last thing which is to do is basically to accept the license okay for android studio so here you will see this as a suggestion which is this okay to resolve this run this command which is flutter doctor dash dash android licenses okay so just copy this command or you can also type it like this flutter doctor dash dash android dash licenses then press enter here you can see it will ask to accept so write y yes okay accept y so write y press enter write y press enter write y press enter okay write y press enter accept okay so yeah that's it so simple so simple and so easy now let's run the flutter doctor again and now all the issues has been solved successfully so our flutter has been installed successfully as you can see here now now the next thing is we have to simply google for the vs code okay we have to download the vs code so you can simply search for vs code this first one which is visual studio code click on it download for windows click on it and yeah it has been uh, the download has been started so let's wait for it it will took two minutes as you can see here so it has been downloaded successfully let's go to the download folder here you can see this is our vs code set of file let's double click on it in order to install it i accept the agreement next 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 install so it has been installed successfully click finish let's close this close this now let's open up the vs code okay visual studio code now we need to install the flutter ex extension okay so just click on this extensions okay this icon and simply search for flutter So as you can see the first one which is flutter click on it and then simply click on this install and it is installing so it has been installed successfully now one thing which is we will now create our new project flutter project in the vs code but before doing that we need to create a android emulator also you can connect your real android smartphone so anyways we will do it using the android emulator for that let's open up the android studio and let's create quickly an android emulator first so now click here on this more actions and click on abd manager and now here you can simply click on create virtual device and from here you can select pixel xl and click next and here you will see this api levels okay and alongside with it you will see these downloads button so you can simply click in front of this api level 30 okay 
you have to download this okay so simply click on download and accept and it will download this api level 30 so just after the uh, when it is downloaded successfully then you can choose this r or api level 30 okay i hope you can see this one in my case it is already downloaded so i will simply choose r and then click next and then click finish so here you can see the android emulator has been created successfully now let's close everything and let's open up the vs code so now let's create our brand new further project so you have to simply click on this view then click on this command palette okay this one the shortcut key for which is control shift p so just click on it and then here you can simply type flutter and you will see this as a suggestion which is flutter new application project click on it now where do you want to save your project i want to save it to my desktop okay so i will simply select desktop and then click here okay now here this is our project name and remember the project name must be in small english alphabets okay and there must be no extra space for example in small words i just write first underscore app instead of space you can write this underscore okay for example my first app my first app okay just write your project name and then press enter so now if you see this you can simply check this and yes i trust the authors okay so it is now creating our first flutter project by the name my first app in my case so let's wait for it it will took one minute so our project has been created successfully as you can see here if you see any suggestion like would you uh, would you like to use recommended vs code setting for dot and flutter then yes click yes for that okay and yeah that's it now we are ready so let's maximize the screen so now let's test our app you have to simply click on run and then click on start debugging and the shortcut key for which is f5 so let's click on it to check our first app if it is working or not so for the first time it will took some three four minutes so let's wait for it And here we go, our app is running now on the Google Chrome by default. We will also test it on the phone, okay? Don't worry, as you can see, this is the web app, Flutter web app. Now let's test it on the phone. So let's close this. So in order to test the app on the Android emulator, you have to simply come here. Here you will see this uh, Chrome web JavaScript, okay? At the end, you can see here, okay? Just click on it. And then you will see all the available devices for example we have chrome edge and then our android emulator which is pixel xl okay which we just created earlier so you have to simply select this android emulator or let's say if you connect your real android smartphone then you will see it here okay in the names so our emulator is has been started successfully let's wait for it to open it our android emulator is now starting once it is started then we will run the app on it so the emulator has been started successfully and now you can simply click on run and just simply click on start debugging and it will now install over this app on our this phone so let's wait for it and by the way you can see your project files by simply clicking here on this icon okay which is explore and here you can see this is our my first app okay and then in here we have this lift folder inside the lift folder we have this main dot dot file which contains the default code okay as you can see here so yeah let's wait for it it is installing the app on the phone So the app is running now on our phone as you can see here so congratulations we have set up the flutter sdk successfully in our computer and now we have created also successfully our first flutter application as you can see here so that is really cool and really nice